Hi, it's the morning. Today I'm gonna try and get a little session in with Shiloh. I have a new complete, which means I have a new skateboard. I gotta set it up before we go. But I'm trying to get this thing done quickly so that we can have more time to skate. So the faster I get this thing set up, the more time we have to skateboard, you get the idea. Ready? Yeah. Fresh board, fresh park. Officially open now, we're not breaking the law, Shiloh. Yeah. Oh, dang, are you serious? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Not only did I put my board, uh, my truck on backwards, <laughs> but I didn't realize until we got to the skate park. So what happens when all you want to do is skateboard, you get distracted get distracted from the task at hand. Oh, that's great. Oh. Yeah. Back in the day, we used to use like wood screws, you know? Yeah. I got all the way there, my truck was on backwards, and I mean, we walked like two miles, and I was just like, it's so frustrating. Look at that crooked Got the truck on skate straight, we're gonna try it out. Until you crash on it. All right, done at Vista Park. Charlotte, did you have fun? I'm guessing that's a yes. I can't believe I put one of my trucks on backwards again. I was rushing to get it set up as quickly as I could, and I didn't notice when I threw the truck onto the board, the truck was on there backwards. We got a couple questions. We got a couple questions from you guys. We're gonna knock them out right now. Two, um, two questions. Two questions. Do you ever think about having more kids? Oh, that's a question for me I and do. you. I'll go first. So you go second, since you're gonna have a better answer than me, and I'm just gonna copy whatever you say. No, no. Think about it. Yes. However, I mean, Sleepy and I have been dated, dating since high school. We kind of knew each other's our no, goals no. going into marriage, and we've always said three kids. Um, after we had two, Sleepy said, two kids. She changed her mind, said, two's good. We don't need any more kids, two's good. Um, she had like really hard pregnancies and stuff. There's more about that, but. But then she got pregnant one last time and we had the amazing Sparrow. <laughs> so we had our three kids and um, yeah, no, who has I more mean, kids. Some people can really effectively have a serious like van full of children and have really well behaved good kids and they have multiple multiples and <laughs> it works but um so three we've always said three we have our three we're happy with that and uh i mean i think now I've, we're able to like just focus on all of our lives and not and not think about it's that it's kind of crazy being out of like baby stage i was just saying this to chad the other day like we we can go away for the weekend and there's no bottles to be made diapers to be packed like it's we're out of that phase and it feels really good to be out of that phase and i'm like as a woman who okay. wants to be a mom there's always going to be a need in your heart to like hold a baby and to like snuggle and love on one and i don't think that ever goes away which is why it's like a huge blessing to be a grandma 
So I'll just wait for that. <laughs> <laughs> when people ask us that question, which they do, naturally when you have kids, people always ask, are you going to have more kids? Um, the answer is no. Tara Elgretto, she actually, this is from her daughter Paisley, and she wants to know where do fairies live? Fairies live at a pixie dust tree. Rio, can you elaborate on that? Um, yeah, but the pixie dust tree is called Pixie Hollow. Um, and they usually live in gardens. Um, to um, hang out with their friends like the bees. Yeah, mm. bees. Shiloh? Sometimes in bushes and sometimes in like grass. How can you find them? You can find them by trying to talk fairy, which you try to just dingle like a bell. Or, or, or waving a bell around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we could grab a bell and then wave it around. Sparrow? So we're at my parents' house. I am working on a wedding. Sweet Pea is working on something much greater. Food. Purple front fries. Purple front fries. We got some sweet taters. Steve grew these little yellow golden potatoes in his garden. Diced up sweet potato, french fry, cutted. <laughs> these get a little bit of cinnamon. And then we're gonna throw them in some tortillas and make some sweet potato tacos. Just because. Did you know that a bell pepper has more vitamin C than an orange? Don't potatoes is, also have more vitamin C than okay. orange? No, but potatoes are very high in vitamins and nutrients. In the, during like the depression, people would trade gold for potatoes because of their nutritional value. Fun fact. Crazy. Oh gosh, the onions. They hit me. Oh no. So to make a fajitas, so easy. Olive oil, onion, pepper, and maybe some garlic. Let's oil that up. If we ever make anything food related on here and you guys want to know more about it, you can write me on Instagram. Sweet pea suitor. Mm. And I'll write you back. Okay, so the next time you see any of this food, it will be in taco form. Yeah? Sure. Sweet potato tacos. Poor little sparrow got stung by a bee tonight at my mom's house. We were playing hide and go seek in the backyard. Something was in her hair and she went to flick it out and it was a bee and it stung her in the hand and she was so tough about it. Is there no end to your resourcefulness? This. What happened to you? I got a bee thing and now it has a big wash around it. Are you concocting some kind of a remedy? Yeah, I, I wrote my friend for her advice. So if we mix a little baking soda with lavender. What is that? This is aloe vera. Do you know what aloe vera is good for? Um, helping some these things in your hand. It's a healing plant. So it can heal people? Back even in, back into the day, Indians would use all sorts of plants to heal different kinds of things. And aloe vera, also me. aloe vera is something that will heal burns or insect bites and it's cooling for the skin. Does it feel cool, Sparrow? Mm -hmm. So now this is a little paste I made with lavender oil and baking soda. And that's going to go right on your little spot. So what's happening is your body is swelling and getting spots because it has something in it called histamines. Just histamine. A histamine is something that your body reacts to when it's allergic or having a reaction to something that's a foreign object in your body, like the bee sting. Hey, I love that one. A little ice pack? Mm -hmm. So you're just going to hold that on there for it's five cold. minutes. It's cold. It's cold. Oh my god! Do you want to put a cushion in between? <laughs> she was a genius. Who? My friend. Stephanie? Stephanie. The acupuncture girl? She's a genius? Because she, she, she gave mommy this idea for 
before I can be get paddle. So we came to Willow Creek. They sell bows here, bow and arrows. So we came here to get my bow restrung. Shiloh was with us, so obviously he was intrigued and had his eye on a recurve bow. They offered to let him shoot it, and now he's shooting these arrows down range. You hit this balloon, if you pop that balloon with an arrow, one, two, three, four, five. If you hit the balloon within five shots, Shiloh, I'll get you that bow, okay? Robin Hood. Young Robin Hood right here.